Care Art of Sports here with Shakur Stevenson, uh, silver medalist, 2016 in Rio. Uh, Got to ask you about that experience, man. I was actually in Rio myself, uh, obviously not fighting or anything like that. But you know, I was there. I was with the experience. T tell us about that. You got the silver medal. T tell us about that whole experience there in Rio. Uh, to be honest with y'all, it wasn't really the experience that I wanted because I went there to win gold. Mm -hmm. Like I was, I was, I didn't want to settle for nothing less than gold. But I did, and uh, I came up a little bit short. I lost on a split decision to a Cuban fighter that won a gold medal in the past Olympics. But I'm praying that he comes over to America mm -hmm. and I can get a rematch, and I promise you I'm going to get him. But, yeah, it was a great experience, but it wasn't really what I expected. Is it maybe a little more comforting the fact that it was a, a, a prior gold medalist obviously that everyone knows about Cubans Cuba's uh, you know amateur boxing program it's it's you know the best in the world you know what I mean is it does it take the sting off a little bit or it doesn't matter you just didn't win the gold and you're pissed uh, it doesn't matter <laughs> I didn't win gold and I'm pissed because I can beat that dude right <laughs> honestly I feel like I could beat him so we're going to uh, we're going to pray that he gets the chance to come over here and I can get it back <laughs> you're making your pro debut April 22nd uh, Tell, tell us about the, the difference, obviously, between pros and amateurs. Obviously, the amateurs for a while haven't had the headgear, uh, but you, I'm sure, did the headgear, did the non-headgear. But tell us about, you know, the smaller gloves, maybe kind of the nerves, all that stuff kind of going in, into your pro debut. Uh, honestly, I did the WSB. Uh, I, fought, I fought five rounds and uh, weighed in the day before. The same fought with no shirt, same thing as the pros. Only difference is the gloves. And honestly... I feel like the gloves being smaller is a advantage to me because I feel like I'm going to be able to crack these dudes a lot more and, and I'm real accurate, so I plan on knocking some of these dudes out. <laughs> you, uh, you took your time a little bit deciding on what promoter you were going to go with. Uh, obviously, you were, you were highly sought after. What was it about top rank that you decided, yeah, they, these are the guys I want to trust in my career? Uh, just look at their track record. Like, look what they did with Floyd. Look what they did with Oscar De La Hoya, Miguel Cotto. They build superstars. They they good at building superstars. Terrence Crawford, Vasily Lemachenko, two of the biggest guys in boxing right now. They build superstars. I just want to be a superstar. <laughs> so I want to follow their footsteps and we're going to get that done. You're, uh, you're fighting at 126, correct? That You're making the pro debut at 126? Uh, pro debut April 22nd, fighting at 126 featherweight and in the sixth rounder. Is, well, why a six rounder right off the bat? Uh, because I fought in the WSB before. I did five rounds. <laughs> I feel like four is like a little bit too less. Yeah, yeah. So I plan on going six and it should be fun. You're, you're fighting on the undercard here with Valdez. You got uh, Magdaleno here on the, on the, on the card as well. Yeah. Do you, you kind of see these guys uh, as future opponents possibly? Uh, most definitely. Uh, it's a friendly sport outside the ring. When I see them, is when I met them, they was all good vibes and everything good but uh, at the end of the day it's a competition so I do see them as uh, competitors and later on down the line he's about to win uh, another title he's about to defend his title Oscar Valdez and I plan on fighting him too Carisha Shields we found on HBO uh, a couple weeks back she keeps her gold medals in her purse obviously you brought out the the silver medal because we're here at the press conference but where do you keep it man do you, do you just keep it with you keep it in your pocket what, what where, 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 where is it I keep it home I ain't really that type of person who's just walking around with it <laughs> But I, uh, I'm proud of it, though. Yeah, definitely. You definitely should be proud of it. Shakur Stevenson, April 22nd. Tell the, tell the fans, man, Instagram, oh, Facebook, Snapchat. Follow Snapchat. me on uh, Instagram at Shakur Stevenson. Follow me on Twitter at Shakur Stevenson. Follow me on Facebook at Shakur Stevenson. Y'all going to say a lot of me. Thank you so much, Shakur. Appreciate it. Looking forward to your debut, brother. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank man. you, man. Yeah. <laughs>